And it's the, the comment is as follows. My comment does not in any way refer to the two new city commissioners, Katie and Alex. In the spring of 2018, cut through traffic and illegal trucks increased on Woodward Heights by over 1,200 vehicles per day. This was due to Ferndale giving Nine Mile Road a road diet, along with the traffic backups at the northbound Woodward and 10 Mile traffic light, and the popularity of traffic apps. Since 2018, Woodward Heights has been a cut through street. It has been called the new Nine Mile. This has, been, this has brought dangerous accidents where people have been rushed away by ambulance, road, ra road rage incidents, car chases, illegal passing, constant noise, air pollution, disrespectful aggressive drivers, pedestrian vehicle conflicts, and over 40 illegal trucks per day. The Institute for Transportation Engineers states that a residential street gets under 300 vehicles per day is considered an excellent street. A street that gets under 600 vehicles per day is, is considered good. A street with under 1,200 vehicles per day is acceptable, and a street with over 1,200 vehicles per day is poor. They say no residential street should receive over 1,200 vehicles per day. Woodward Heights receives over 3,600 cut-through vehicles per day, according, including over 40 illegal trucks per day. Woodward Heights is the equivalent of three poor streets. The city has known about this problem since the spring of 2018, but they have refused to act. Under the leadership of former Kurt Metzger, former Mayor Kurt Metzger, traffic on Woodward Heights increased by over 1,200 vehicles per day. When we asked the city for help, the city said it had no intention of reducing traffic on Woodward Heights. Over the last four years, we have fought with the city over their lack of empathy and refusal to act to keep our neighborhood livable and safe. The city has consistently refused to consider reducing the cut through traffic. Their only goal is to calm, slow traffic by 2.5 miles an hour. The city uses misleading and erroneous excuses to put out of town cut through drivers above Woodward Heights residents. This past spring, we told the city that we were going to start a petition that would force the city to take action to stop the cut through traffic and illegal trucks. Two residents and I went door to door with a petition. Less than half of the residents were home. Over 90% of the residents we spoke to signed the petition. We had planned to continue knocking on doors, but with COVID increasing, I decided to ask the city if they required us to continue going door to door or if the over 90% signature rate would be adequate since it showed a clear and obvious trend. On August 19, 2021, I sent the partial petition to the city manager along with this, with this email. And I quote, we spoke with 25 residents. Only three eligible residents did not sign the cul-de-sac petition. One resident who did not sign told us he would sign it if it came down to needing one vote. Two residents we spoke to were renters who want the cul-de-sac, but being renters, they were not eligible to sign. We have, over, we have 20 signatures out of 23 eligible residents, so it's obvious the residents of Woodward Heights want the cul-de-sac. With the pandemic surging again, we do not feel it's safe or responsible to knock on doors. Please let us, let us know if the supplied petitions are enough or if you're going to force us to knock on more doors during the pandemic, end quote. The city manager wrote back, quote, the city commission will consider this request at the September 14th, 2021 meeting, end quote. At the September 14th meeting, the city lied to the public by representing the partial petition as a complete petition that did not get enough signatures. Brett Scott said the petition only got uh, one quarter of the resident signatures. He did not mention that it was a partial petition. The city did not inform the public that I sent them a partial petition asking if we needed to continue going door to door during the increase in COVID or if the partial petition with over 90% signature rate would suffice. The city's lie that we sent them a complete petition that did not get enough signatures was then believed and repeated by Pleasant Ridge residents on Facebook and it was believed and repeated by the press. The Pleasant Ridge City government's lack of transparency and lack of empathy has been shocking and unacceptable. We need a city government that cares about our neighborhood and cares about the truth. I ask that the city manager, the mayor, and the commission involved admit that they lied about the petition and issue an apology. I also ask that they contact the press and issue a partial correction, or a, sorry, a printed correction.